I'm here today basically to apologize. Uh, so I, I don't really want to talk to you guys. I want to talk to them. I want to apologize to all the men and women, the first responders, that you had to come down here today. I'm embarrassed. I'm embarrassed for our country. I'm embarrassed for New York. I'm embarrassed that, that you, after serving so selflessly with such heroism, have to come down here and convince people to do what's right for the illnesses and difficulties that you suffered because of your heroism and because of your selflessness. Today, on the Hill, you will be exposed to possibly toxic levels of <laughs> <laughs> and arrogance. You're strong men and women, but these are conditions you may never have faced before. So buckle your seatbelts and let's get this done. If you have stage four cancer and you get a letter of notification saying that uh, the medicine that you rely on may be ending in a year, that to me is an urgent care situation. But again, I can't stress this enough. Why is it incumbent upon our first responders to have to uh, consistently push to get the benefits that are coming to them purely for their acts of valor in a wartime situation? This is insanity.